Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Alright, so here he is, MMA's human highlight film, Edson Jr. Barboza, when he knocked out Terry Adam with that real kick in UFC 142. I thought the arena was gonna crumble to the ground. I have never felt an arena shake like that before, and it's been one highlight after the next for Barboza ever since. And that highlight, that kick will be shown long after Edson Barboza is done fighting. It's one of those things that will stand the test of time. And it's because he's able to set things up in so many different ways, from the body kicks, to the leg kicks, to the great hands. That's why Terry Adam didn't see that. There's no wind up to anything right. that Edson Barbosa ever does. He's one of the most brutalizing strikers that we've ever seen step foot in the octagon. And the only thing that has eluded him, of course, is a UFC title. Let's see if he can move towards that goal with another win for team. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot three at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Barboza is three years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here is Ladies Bruce and Bruce. gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Edson Junior Barbosa. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Row scene went down. This is where it happened, J.A. Lost the words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Edson Jr. Barbosa. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. 
very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat this leg up. Three minutes remain in the round. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Slips to avoid the right. Barbosa gets caught with that punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. He is all about that left kick to the body. Just over two minutes to go. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Doubled up on the jab there. Nicely done by Lee. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Edson Barbosa. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Barbosa gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Missed with that right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Cable inches right there, boy. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Barbosa. second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round he has found the rhythm and found his striking range scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two lee gets hit with a kick oh nice nice barbosa's got a bruise starting to appear on that right side of his body now Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Edson Barboza. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Nice. 
Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. One minute left in the round. Let's go. See that right hand land the square. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Barboza's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. I mean, he's cut them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Leg kick after leg kick after leg kick. Oh, like the thought there. Good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. So in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go. As our next round gets underway, his strong leg has so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he fakes it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh! Back to the feet. Beautiful strike. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses there with the left. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that point. Landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent. Oh! Wow! What a fight! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Fifteen seconds to go. Big balls for punch land. Now he's getting back to the range. So a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You can see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The match 
Rodriguez did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Body shot now, but it's turned back by Lee. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice head kick. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just missing on the uppercut there. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice punch lands. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Edson Jr. Barboza. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon. Get a knockout like that.